never a dull moment for the gathering crowds of Arizona, whose three and three Wranglers turned Sun Devil Stadium into a Wild West show. Even a routine punt becomes tough to corral, and the Boston Breakers trigger a series of Wrangler disasters. Frank Lockett's recovery keys an early 10-point lead, and the Wranglers are getting themselves in deeper and deeper. Joey Restick's interception is one of five Arizona turnovers, and the opportunistic visitors keep helping themselves. Richard Crump is rumbling toward his third 100-yard day, and a jump to third place among the league's leading rushers. Meanwhile, nearly four of every five passes are being completed by quarterback John Walton. And when Tony Davis adds himself to the list of Boston game breakers, the Wranglers seem to be outnumbered. Arizona's Alan Risher is always ready to rustle up a rally, though, and the league's best comeback team is at it again. Jackie Flowers has his ninth TD, and scrambling, rambling Risher is finding his second half groove. Ohio State's Calvin Murray gets the final yard of the Wrangler Drive, and Boston's 16-point lead has been cut in half. But the Breakers' Dick Corey, a Dick Vermeil disciple, has a few more tricks up his sleeve. Razzle Dazzle gives way to raw power, and one of Dick Crump's three touchdowns on the day inspires a novel extra point try. No points for a drop ball, though, and Doug Shively's Wranglers are dropping everything in sight. It turns into a 44-23 Boston romp in front of a disheartened Arizona crowd.